Hello, my lovely Starborns. Welcome to your pick a card reading. This is going to be a quick one. Let's see which angel has a message for you. I'll help you choose your group, okay? First, we are going to pick an angel card. The most, okay, we have one. Oh, wow, look. High Priestess has a message for you. Okay, amazing. Great. Number 44 could be important. And 4-4 four four is again giving me heavy on angel energy. I mean, it's no coincidence, you guys, that I'm doing these angel readings. I mean, you'll see. You'll see what's up. Give it time. This is going to be... This is already, we are in a very life-changing phase of planetary energy itself. April is going to be something. So the angel showing up here is Yelahia. Yelahia. God, the eternal, lasting. Psalm 119, 108. Number 919, as an angel sync, could be important, as well as 108, which I connect with the blue flame, as well as 108 is a very sacred number, because, you know, it has the alpha, the omega, the yin, the yang, as well as that infinity energy, right? It's everything. It is the creator, the destroyer, as well as the sustainer energy that is showing up here. I feel like the gifts that are coming in for you, there there is a gift coming in for each one of you. It's very occult in nature. And this is a soul gift. This is a time period where you are energetically protected. But of course, I always suggest to still have your protection ritual in place, all right? Set your intentions, visualize, and all of that. But yes, your um, spirit team is very protective of you around this time. Success in at least one endeavor wherever like it, at least in one area of your life you are seeing healing and exaltation and success and triumph and victory and basically in a particular area it could be more than one it could be two maybe three or maybe nine yeah some of you nine areas of your life are being hit in the most wonderful manner but of course, with the high priestess, everything is a secret, very subtle. Everything is happening behind the veil. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's pull out three cards for three groups. Let's see what is the main message for a lovely Starborns. Group one, group two, and group three. All right, let's cut the deck. Help you choose your group. Group one, two, and three. Okay. Group one, your card is the desert. Group two, your card is the womb. Mm. And group three, your card is <laughs> the underworld. Here's your destroyer energy. Here's your creator energy. And desert showing up as the sustainer. Let's just think of it as sustainer for a while because that's the only missing energy. But if we have to look at the desert as a sustainer, what comes to mind?
I don't know. I think all the oil giants are in the desert regions, right? Oil economy <laughs> booming in these regions. And there's this contradiction at play in desert societies, right? There's this indigenous tribal element. And then there's this super rich, opulent energy for the for I mean there are middle classes too of course, but you see there is like the stark contradiction when you actually look at the desert people. And whatever is in the middle class category, that is those are mostly immigrants working there hmm. but it's giving me balance balance also okay why, why am i talking about this <laughs> let's start your reading group one you chose the desert let's see what is this about <laughs> okay What's the message here for my lovely Star Wars group one? What's the message here? Yo. Okay. Yo, look at that. Three of swords, seven of pentacles, nine of cups, and six of wands. So yes, definite desert energy turning into spice <laughs> that's a dune <laughs> reference yeah spice you're finding your spice gold you're finding your gold how how is this happening super wow ten of pentacles that is why that stock energy is coming this is almost like racks to riches energy you guys <laughs> Oh, what's up? I just feel like if you chose this group, something outwardly is happening for you. It's like the thing that you never imagined is happening to you. This is going to make you very happy. This is public success. This is wish fulfillment. This is opulence that is what is coming in for you what is this yeah look i know that this is a great significator for wealth four of cups but it's the kind is the is the kind where you're not super interested in whatever it is Rather, you have the sense of, it's like you lack gratitude in a way. But I feel like now you are cutting through that. Like this is almost this energy where you deserted a part of you, all right? Because you got caught up in the mire, let's just say. And this could also be connected to your work or whatever it is where you are investing your energy, your resources, your money. And you, even your thoughts, like whatever had you occupied around this time, you're seeing through the blockages, you're seeing through what held you back. And miracles are here for you, miracles are happening for you. You are freeing yourself from whatever was oppressing you, especially when it comes to your own thoughts, as well as this is also connected to work. There, there was something where you, you were investing your energy, you wanted it to take off, but I just feel like it was just looping you. You know, you were running in loops. And whatever it is that you were gaining, it's not like you did not gain. You did gain, of course, that is why you were there in the loop. But it was never enough. It was just like it was taking too much from you. And now you are doing things differently. So let's see. Okay. No, that, I mean, that is, seriously, I'm not taking so many cards. But of course, we will see. The Empress, the Sun, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Star. Okay. Yes, this is Rax to Riches, okay? This is, and I'm just noticing 
there's a crescent there, which is black, and there's a crescent here, white, on the Nine of Cups, right? Yin Yang, and with the Page of Swords, this is an opportunity coming in. This is, it's like one day you're waking up to a message of some sort, and your whole life is changing. Show me. Yeah, you, look, hand man came out in reverse. Don't take reversals, but still, you see, you're being unstuck. And this is only possible because you are doing something. You did something already. You set something in motion because you decided to do things differently. You decided to get off of the hamster wheel. Wow, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, Ace of Swords. I cannot make this up. You are entering a very prosperous phase of your life. See, Eight of Swords came out in reverse. And I was getting this Eight of Swords energy here too. Here too, with the Five and the Three of Swords, right? And it, this is happening. This clearing is happening because you decided to do something about... Uh, that tense energy that you were carrying, right? You deserted it, basically. You just, you're like, get off my field, you know? <laughs> yeah, you really did. You really did. You worked with your own mind, okay? You took control of your mind. Some of you could be working with subliminals and stuff. And uh, yeah, this is reprogramming the mind. The body, the spirit, putting down the burdens. I mean, this is clearing, making space for the new, but for the better. Yep. Judgment. I just feel like you kind of like shifted timelines in a way where your current timeline is making it is making it possible for all this abundance to come into your life in a swift way, you know, like quickly. Like this is swift karmic return. This is karmic return, by the way. And anything that was stopping you it's like it's leaving you're veiled i don't know why i'm getting it like that you're veiled but this is wow the bird yeah birds actually how is this a blessing <laughs> another high priestess why the mystery and another crescent look at this yeah because you're working with your spirit team you're working with your guides. Eclipse is going to be super important for you this year. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is something in motion, all right? Things are going to be revealed to you sooner. And this is connected to this card here. Sooner than you know, okay? So this is going to be revealed to you pretty soon and birds are important birds are very important for you guys birds are also healing the bird sounds heal you plus you have some avian energy around you blue avian yes avian in general guides you have avian guides super active lyra is here too blue avian yes definitely blue avian energy here helping you quite a lot okay so that's all i see i hope this helps if this resonates please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one and let's go ahead and see group two okay okay group two you chose the womb card and this is talking about Creation, yes, creation, but also the energy of sustenance is here, love, what nourishes you. Mm. 
Let's see, what is this about? I'm not getting much from the main energy, which is kind of rare. But yes, the element of water is here as well as fire. Hmm. But I'm picking up on the soft energy, like tender, warm energy. Something sacred. It's almost like purification. You underwent a purification process. Let's see what is this for shows. This is for my lovely stubborn. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Definite nourishment here by nose is so witchy. <laughs> you're simplifying your life. And you're investing your energy. Where you're being taken care of too. You know, it's not just about giving, giving, giving. Hmm. Who's the mother of Mother Earth? Have you ever thought of that? The mother of Mother Earth. I think her name is Tara. Hmm. I also feel like there's a, this choice coming in for you. Like there's a, there's a major action that is taking place in your life, which will put you on a path of ascension. And there's another path mm, that is a bit dicey, I would say. Mm. Let's see what more. You know, yeah, definitely. I got that awakening energy and I just knew judgment is going to fly. Yes. Two two energies that I'm picking up here in this group. Yeah, look at this. Can I make this up? You are reaching a major turning point in your life. You're reaching a crossroad where the decision that you make there is going to decide how things fall in place for you because even if you go on the dicey path it is leading you back to this very path too very like abundant prosperous path very this is a very healed energy you know spiritually aligned energy but over here it's like you know facing your own shadow more of that and other people's shadows too perhaps and then going down that dark night of the soul journey and then coming back to light again so there's that but then i am getting for this group you that this is avoidable that is why the angel wants you to notice that is why this message is coming up here you see i think it has to do with how you invest your energy where you invest it what it is that you're doing with your creative energy itself you know because those of you who like, if you understand how energy works and you are protective of it, okay, you know what's what and you are not into instant gratification and uh, ignoring the big picture and all of that. Because, see, there's a time for everything, okay? And I feel like you guys are coming to a point in your life where uh, no more of that. You have to make a choice. So if you choose the path of instant gratification then in a way you are choosing this path and i don't know why this is coming up maybe maybe it has to do something with the choices everyday life choices that you're making okay it's time to be more conscious. It's time to be mindful about it. 
Oh yeah, the birds are going crazy, definitely. Okay, spirit. So, what is the advice for this group? Pay attention to the subconscious. Introspect. Look at your actions. Look at what it is that you are doing. What is true victory and not what just feels like happiness and victory for a moment just because you know it's about diving deeper it's about differentiating between this horse which is the five of cups and this horse which is the chariot two very different energy you see it's like words apart and this is the energy that you should be aiming for because this is leading you to this path. Wow, this is like really interesting reading. Yeah, look at this. Hermit, hanged man, nine of swords. I'm gonna make this up. The world, two of cups. Okay, so this is also connected to your everyday connections, all right? How you, your outlook, basically your outlook on love, partnerships, relationships, sex life, and whatever brings you this gratification for a moment. And this could be anything like substances, you know. Substance abuse could be a thing. And it's not like I'm going to tell you what's good for you, what's not. Because who am I to tell you that? You know that very well. It's just about are you going to choose better for yourself? And those of you who are on this path... I mean, you see what's here, right? Illumination. <laughs> wow, Nine of Cups. Okay, your life is going to keep getting better and better. Like, and the way it is getting better is going to surprise you. This is divine blessings coming in for you being taken care of by the universe like this is direct contact this is here is your compensation for everything that you went through you have truly earned it look at this and i'm also telling you that this group you have a divine counterpart if you are not already partnered up there is somebody coming in and there's this partnership in the making for sure and it's gonna make you very happy there is that but apart from that i feel like your money looks really good your mental health looks really good your physical health looks really good i just feel like this is going to be a very happy time of your life and especially if you think you're on twin journey and you have been on this path of celibacy for a while then take this message for more than at least three years. This is a short, sure, short sure energy for you, short, sure, short sure victory here. Because with the womb, it's also about the divine feminine. So this is the exaltation of the divine feminine within each one of you, right? Regardless of your gender, of course. So this year of the divine feminine is here to make you really happy, happy, happy like never before in every way possible. So yeah, that's what I see. And this group, if you do the work, this is where you are headed to. So I see win-win anyway. So mm, lovely message. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. And now let's do the last group, which is the Underworld card. All right. Hello, group three. You chose the Underwood card. Let's see. Uh, this always gives me a level of shadow work, regardless of what it is that is going on. It's just like clearing taking place. Even if you are in a very comfortable position in your life where your life is better than ever before, even then, it's like the subconscious purge is being 
taking, it, it's taking place, you know, it's functional, fully functional in the background. This is subtle. This is happening. And which is great because this is leading to further integration within your energy field, within your light and shadow. You know, this is very brave energy is because this also means that you're looking at your fears and you are facing it fearlessly and you're working with whatever needs to be looked at here, whatever needs clearing so you guys are not afraid of deep diving no matter what it's like when you reach the rock bottom it's kind of a relief for you because then it's like okay when because the only way that you go from rock bottom is up right yep Okay, let's see. Spare show us. What is this energy for my lovely Star Wars group three? Beyond the world. What's happening here? I guess they need to know. Okay. Empress came out in every group, I believe. She's super strong. Aries and Taurus season is going to be really something. Well, chariot. Hmm. Right. Look who's underneath the wheel of fortune. Mm. You see the background in the Empress card is so dark, but the tree is so bright. I feel like you are fearless because you know that you are taken care of, that the divine is always, always with you, that no matter what, you'll be fine. You feel this protection around you, that now it is, it's all right. Like you're not afraid of the spiritual realm. It's like, even when it comes to the unknown, it does not invoke fear in you, rather, I feel like it makes you curious, you know, and you have a level of compassion. You guys, this group, you're reaching the point that you understand the darkness. You are befriending your demons, your shadows, your, like, you just understand. Even when it comes to negative entities, you understand energy. You, if not, that is the part that you are embarking upon. It's this energy where you're understanding the play between the light and the dark especially the chariot being there you are moving away from your personal limiting beliefs some of you this could also mean that if if you held judgment against certain schools of certain school of thoughts schools of thought right schools of thought different thoughts when it comes to magic when it comes to the occult when it comes to witchcraft even when it comes to yeah the hidden realm so perhaps there were certain practices that you really really looked down upon and around this time it's like The energy is flipping almost. Yeah, compassion, what am I saying? Love, compassion, understanding. You're reaching a level of understanding. Yeah, see? That shift is here for you. The way you look at things, the way you look at the world is shifting in a very intrinsic manner, you know? So... Especially when it comes to the disturbing elements that are at play, especially the hidden realm, there's something about it. I feel like th this is happening due to some sort of activation that is at play, especially in your field with the Empress showing up in the energy field. Yeah. Recently, I got this energy that 
the moon was almost like purified, you know. Uh, a month ago, I got this energy. I think last full moon, yeah. It was then where I finally felt like, okay, the divine feminine energy of the moon is being restored. It's no more age AGI matrix mother moon. It, it is actually this luna energy that i felt after a long time and i feel like that is what is happening for you guys like if you dismiss certain energies because you got the ick you know around this time you're like okay i'm curious now if i'm getting the ache i need to see what's there you know there's something about that and of course as a result this is showing up in other areas of your life too this energy is seeping into other areas of your life too so you are holding back on judging people you're not judging people so much even if they kind of i don't deserve judgment <laughs> you're just holding back you're like okay you know it's, it's fine you do you that sort of energy mm. interesting yeah because you you walk this is Becoming, oh my god, I cannot make this up. Look at this. There's something about the dark occult world which is coming to light for you guys. And perhaps this is also happening because a guide is super active in your life who is a bit intense. And you can feel this guide's energy because this guide has helped you. This guide is helping you release the pain the suffering that was caused due to the darkness due to the betrayals due to other people's hidden intentions and the things that, that were done in the dark this could also be magic by the way this could be psychic attacks this could be energetic interference of any kind unconscious attacks whatever you know so now there's something about yeah okay light is strong but there are certain elements when it comes to the loopy nature of the dark arts, let's just say. So when you are at the receiving end of it, it's the one who are actually dabbling in that sort of energy who can actually get you out of it, you know? Because they know the game. They know the game. It's their territory. They know what it is all about. And again, uh, I was talking about the moon. I love the moon. So some maybe somebody like was dabbling in uh, moon magic and, you know, Maybe it was working for a while, but then not anymore. Now this guide is helping you. It's protecting you. Oh, yes. No, oh, yes. <laughs> so you heard the bird, right? Tell us more about it, spirit. No, oh, yeah. Look, three of swords came out in reverse, but I don't take your reversals. But you see, with the help of this particular guide, and again, it dark swan. <laughs> king of wands scorpio energy and another very underworld energy but with the scorpio being here it's this energy of healing because what is this phoenix rising it's kind of like transmutation right uh, you can look at it as healing so a lot of healing is taking place for you you are able to enter a phase of your life where you're shielded from all this and because you're not afraid you're not afraid because there was something earlier where dismissal and a bit of fear could have actually aggravated the assault, the psychic element that was at play. But now you're looking it straight in the face, you know? So you basically you're taking away its power and it's the guide, it's the guide who's with you, the dark guide who's with you, who's kind of like guiding you and also helping you to get in alignment with your own personal power so that you know, you don't feel her anymore, basically. I just noticed the black candle that I have here. Look at it, how it's burning, you guys. Look at it, I don't know if you can see. Uh, can I increase the brightness? Yeah. <laughs> I am super interested in knowing what is this about, Spirit? Tell us more, please. Tell us more. And with the high priestess showing up, it's like, yeah, you know what this is. Oh, I cannot make this up. Look at her. This is, this is healing. This is purge. And, you know, with Ta family showing up here, which is the family of Earth, by the way. 
and you see she has the arrow and the ankh and the haunt being <laughs> i think this is serious energy serious <sighs> energy healing could be very helpful for you guys yep with the help of this guide you're releasing a lot of stuck energy in your physical body like there's a porch here i want to read from the book yeah so this card is about purification it, it is basically the initiation of a new project and this is due to the help of this guide you are entering a phase where it's time for the right i mean you're it's time to actually go for what it is that you want to bring to fruition you know it's time to take actions especially with the chariot being in the center Satat is also associated with the number seven as well as the month of July because of the dog star energy. July could be important. Seven, seven could be important. She is also associated with Isis Osset. She is connected to prosperity. This is prosperity coming into your life and the kind of prosperity that is going to be maintained, that is going to bring you harmony fruitful connections partnerships where you you don't have to kind of water down your personality or hide your light because you know i don't know it just attracts some darkness or something of that nature around this time you are becoming fully assured in your when it comes to your power when it comes to who you are you're going to stand for your boundaries are very strong as well as uh, there is something about your aura that is shifting that is it's like your your auric field is strengthening too that is why i think energy healing could be really really helpful it could accelerate this and now i'm noticing satat is horned so it's the ram horn energy and the devil is horned too right so two horned energies here capricorn aries energy strong so yeah now she's also a goddess of fertility. She is basically pouring out the life giving waters to revitalize the dry parched lands, beginning the yearly cycle of growth. Yeah, with the airy season, it's like the astrological new year. So your spirit is being nourished, restored, rejuvenation is here, you see. And both the light and the dark are working in tandem. The dark is cutting out the darkness of your life, believe it or not. That is the energy here. And you're safe. That's all you need to hear. Yeah, you're safe. Don't be afraid, okay? Of anything. This fearlessness is only going to increase. You're going to become freer and less and less fearful of whatever okay that's all i see i hope this helps if this resonates please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one